All right, guys, we're playing a Jinx top lane on today's video. We're playing Jinx versus a Garen top lane. And for the runes, we now have Lethal Tempo, Presence, Alacrity, Last and specifically Biscuits, and then also Cosmic. Now, this game, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but Jinx is like an, like an extremely insane win ratio. Everyone is banning Jinx. No one wants to play against it. Everyone is trying to lock it in. And Jinx top lane, it works. It functions extremely well actually so the plan i have in this game is to go static shift which means that if i go static shift i can perma push into garen and non-stop poking him out until i win and that way we're going to hyperscale in the game so uh early game is um more or less just a lot of poking and then once you have berserker greaves things will dramatically change i'll definitely take the push level one because we are ranged Definitely not giving the level 1 away to Garen. If you do that, you're going to have a miserable time. Now, in terms of, like, defense, if Garen ever decides to walk into us, we can trap the trap us down so that he doesn't get to us. I could have had the auto, but it got cancelled. Let's push this out. So the only thing is, Garen can push very quickly. So with that in mind, not every type of, um, you know, shoving waves down do is going to You're work as well as it should. Garen can, um, you can stack like a full wave into Garen and he will just press E and just get rid of the full wave. So we've got to keep that in mind, you know, as you're, uh, playing against it. What? Oh, I, I misplaced my traps. Fantastic. Wait, what? He's dead already. Um, I didn't hit? I have to go in though. Unfortunately, there's a jungler involved. No idea where. I do have my own jungler with me here. Kind of unfortunate that I mess up my own traps, but whatever, I guess. A good start of Jinx. Okay, let's calm down. Gotta make sure we proc that passive from Garen so he doesn't get the heal all day. We have Volibear on top lane. He's blocking the enemy jungler from making it to my lane. I'm trying not to overuse my uh, my Q, by the way. So that I can just save the mana when I truly have to. The very second he's going to walk up at me, we will place the trap down, but only if he's walking up at me, because um, it actually costs a lot of mana to be able to use traps. It costs like 90, which is a lot of mana, by the way. This might be killable. Use the traps. There you go. Nice. Trap placement. 10 out of 10. Could I have done it faster? Yes, I could. <laughs> I could have still done it faster, but trap placement, 10 out of 10, bro. Can't complain here. Got a blue buff now. Wait, let me get that one. I'm still using the, the other Q, by the way. Not the rockets, for a reason. Because the rockets make you very, uh, very slow. Let's go back here. 1.8k gold already. Fantastic start right here. Um, we're going to make sure that we are building into Berserker's Greaves early on. And let's also go into this one. There you go. Thank you for the 23 months, Eco. You're almost at 24. Almost. You almost had the two years, bro. Thank you so much, man. Now, check this out, guys. So, um, currently, Kidis Garen has a D-Shield Tier 1 boot. We already have Berserker's Greaves into this item. So, um, we can already out -kite him. Like, we can outrun him, basically. So, every time he queues into me, I can just place the traps down, walk backwards. He will never be able to, like, fight me. Because he's not going to get inside my range, right? I have to slow on top of that, but uh, Garen can easily cancel this out. So, that's something to be aware of. I will not place a ward down in the brush because I need to place it down in the river later on. 
And we just uh, maintain it. I want this Garen to walk into me. I might slow push. So they can push it under tower. Might be doing it. I got Ghost available too, by the way. He'll lose farm if he doesn't walk up. Hmm. Okay. You walk back inside there. I'll chill around here. He's losing a lot of farm. We already have doubled the farm. We have 48. He's got 24. So there's a massive difference. I'll place one down right here so I can see him. I have two trinkets. So one can be placed in the river. For the for their jungle. This Garen is not walking up for any farm. Like zero farm. I am surprised by it. Go in here. Okay. Well, guess we got him already. And I missed my ultimate. <laughs> He's got lucky. He's got the Soraka healing. Okay. My man's got the Soraka healing today. He's going to lose the farm anyways, so I'm still gaining a lead. I'll, I'll walk away early because it's Garen. He will walk he will walk back to lane and then hit the E button. So it's better if I walk away instantly and better not uh, stay around. He will use that, which is very bad for me. I think I might just go into um, two of the attack speed. So instead of just one and like saving the gold, I'll just go and take two. Um, despite not being able to use both of them in the Static Shift item path, we can actually use the attack speed to be built into Kraken Slayer later on, which is the part of the plan. Um, so it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Warning. My guns are getting restless. We'll see if we can drag the wave to a little bit to the to the top side. Maybe. It depends. Let's see what he's up to. He's probably going to keep on using the brush, which is fine for me. We already have double the farm. So if he hides in there all the time, uh, it's only good for me. There you go. Look at this. Perfect. Again, I have more than double farm, so if this guy doesn't walk up for any auto attacks, sure, so be it. I'm, I'm ending, uh, I end up winning anyways. He doesn't want to farm and just avoid me all day? You know, be my guest. This is not my Go ahead. He's walking up now. Certainly changed his mind. There's a chance that I can be, uh, you know, can be ganked, of course. Right. So there seems to be more people around here, and unfortunately, I gotta use my flash. I'll ping top lane. Maybe my joiner can mean something here. Hmm. What? Keeps taking these. Ah, right. Okay, I'll take it safe. Got them both. Thank you. We've got a fantastic start on our hands right here. This is what you're dreaming of when you're playing Jinx top lane. I am not kidding here. Like, your early game with Jinx... Um, Despite being ranged and being able to poke your opponent a lot, you're still a hyperscaling champion at the end of the day until you get Static Shiv. Like static Shiv is where everything changes. And we actually managed to get 4 and 0 before even making it to the Static Shiv. 
So uh, we are super strong now and we got the static shift. Like that's a dream coming true, bro. That's very good. Now, the reason why static shift on Jinx top lane is so nice is because you can, um, you know, next to poking your opponent, you can proc static shift. You can proc that on the entire wave. You know, you can, you can completely obliterate Garen just poking him down. And, you know, by the time that he, uh, you know, that he um, gets on our tower, he's going to have to run away from you. I got <laughs> I got the full wave with the auto. Let's go, man. It worked. Nice. Another catch into my collection. Got the plates. And we got the wave too. I think I might just take the entire tower. I probably will. Yep. So now it's time. We're going to go back once again. This time we're building a Nooncouver. Also building Recurve Bow. So lots of attack speed we're gaining. And we're also having the blue trinket. Um, now we're going to continuously push top lane and we have a reason for that i want to try and push top lane completely and then uh walk in the jungle taking every single jungle camp and eventually rotating mid and then also winning mid at the same time that's my plan right now if we can make that happen it's going to be an incredibly easy game probably find ourselves into a one versus two at some point one way or another i think that the enemy jungle will come down here Uh, we'll see if it happens. Um, I kind of refuse to walk up into the brush because I think that Garen will likely just, uh, you know, camp in there, right? Waiting for me. So I'll stay as far away from these brushes as I can so that it's not going to happen. Um... I think I'm getting ganked. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'll try and walk away from it. So this is like the point in the game where I could make a mistake and die one versus two and then give the entire shutdown away to the enemy team, right? So we have only one job here and that's to pay very close attention to where people are. Because if the enemy jungler shows up in like bot lane, and I can see everyone on the map, I know that I can 1v1, and I know that I'm not going to be in trouble. But if Jungle is missing, and I don't know where he is, I'm not going to walk up aggressively, of course. I need to know where he is, because I can still lose 1, one versus 2, right? I might probably win 1 versus 2, because I'm strong enough to be able to, right? But why would I take the risk? So he's showing up right here, so I can push now. Let's push forward. And let's go. And we got him. Let's grab some jungle camps along with it. Might even get the other one. Another one. And now we've got to be careful, because they can show. Probably not. There's like three people. One guy's dead. So only Garen can show, technically. Okay, now it's time to back off. Gonna grab the Kraken Slayer, and then... Um, once we head back... Um, the next item is probably Infinity Edge. Probably, because Infinity Edge provides a lot of damage on top of what you already have. We have a lot of attack speed. So, uh, there's the crit chance. We now also have Yumi attached to us. <laughs> my full team, well, not my full team, but half my team is losing. 
So being like six and zero and having a Yumi on me is like the dream coming true, bro. I haven't had a Yumi in my games in a long time. But now we finally do. Like Yumi support is my dream support, man. I'm not gonna take that one. I wish I had more Yumi's in my games. I really miss Yumi supports. I don't see them enough anymore these days. Not many people play Yumi's. I see more Lulu's than Yumi's nowadays. <clears throat> Alright, let's have some fun. Uh, we're likely to run into more people. So before we play aggressive, let me just see who is going to walk over here. Hold up. So I think that's, I think that's, uh, oh, that's a jungle up there. So I think I can probably use that as a bait. Hmm. Okay. I wasted my flash. There's a Lux over here. He actually flashed it. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch the Soraka. Right, he's going to walk away. Sure, he's going to lose the upcoming wave. I think I might be able to clean mid lane too. So basically... Uh, farming uh, two lanes at once. Got it. <laughs> I'm definitely not losing that one. Running a solid 10 assist per minute too. So things are looking good. Oh, <laughs> I expected like slightly longer range. That unfortunately didn't work out as I hoped. However, there seems to be a Garen like ultra overextending. And I don't think he realizes my jungle is moving from the right side. I think we get a free kill right here. Yep. 1.5k right now, so let's grab another wave and then we uh, go in down the jungle, take like two camps as well. Dragon spawns in like 25. We might be able to prepare for this. And another one. Yep. Hmm. Uh, guess I'm probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> I just feed really hard to try and obtain the kill, but I uh, I kind of I kind of regret it. Because I didn't even kill him. That was a really nice all-in by the uh, by the jungler, actually. I'll have to admit. I'll sell the Dorn's Blade. I don't need that one. I need to have 400 to get Infinity Edge, and I'm pretty sure that if I get Infinity Edge, my autos are gonna do be they're gonna be like so high that I can hit like probably three four auto attacks, and they will likely just die after I hit W. So we're close. We're, clo we're close to the biggest power spike of Jinx. Once we get that item, it will be so different. They will, by the way, have Baron. They're doing Baron right now. So my teammates can just go for the dragon. Like, that's okay. Can I steal it? 
I was so close to stealing it, bro. <laughs> Look how close I was. The impact slash the Baron going down. What? That was close. I could have had it. Thank you for tower. Hmm. This might not work. They'll keep chasing down, I guess. Wow. Wow, no way. No way that's how the fight goes, dude. So I, I cancelled my Q, I went into the other form again, and then I swapped back again afterwards because I was trying to like kill the jungler. Makes me kind of regret I swapped it around. Maybe the extra auto attack would have maybe killed the jungler. I think it, it I think it really came down to like one auto attack. I feel like. But yeah, whatever. Okay, we have these three items now. So, um, we're going to grab this item, and then the final item is probably this one, or it's going to be Lord Dominic's. And I think it's probably going to be Lord Dominic since we already have, like, a ton of healing. Let's see. I like this item a lot. No limit on life for Star we have, unfortunately, some, uh, some more scaling to do. We have Infinity Edge now, so we can delete the jungler faster. Go back to mid. I don't know if Nyla will show here. Oh, so there seems to be vision. Yeah, I, th they are likely to be running top lane too, I think. It's very likely to be. Got it. Hmm. It's quite a bit. You see, Jinx with Infinity Edge changes everything. I wasn't kidding, I was pretty serious. Seems like every camp has been taken away. Yeah. The jungler got everything. The 1.3k now. Close. Yeah, again, I don't think Soraka realized how much damage I'm truly doing at the moment. Hmm. Let's go back here. Yeah, I need to get this item as fast as possible. The faster I can get it, the harder I carry, because it provides me 7% movement speed. Oh, <laughs> the Yumi was trying to attach to me. Let's go. Yeah, we're we're definitely 1.2k away still. And it seems like Garen is like trying to focus on pushing top so that probably to like keep me away from the dragon, I I guess. Wow. Again. 
What a crazy fight this is. This should be very good for my team, though. Huh. Actually, so I, I run it down for that. Like, I went one versus... I went two versus five with my with the Yumi. Um, however, <laughs> it just got them so low that my teammates will have Dragon for free now. Like, sure, I'll take that. Okay, there could be a Lux ultimate. There could be a Lux ultimate, but... I hope it doesn't get stolen. Great. I was expecting Lux to ult, but there was no Lux ultimate, apparently. Oh, man. That long range I had was just amazing. They could just not get to me no matter what. The Baron is also available right now. So we gotta hurry up. Quickly reset as fast as possible. Okay, let's go. This is an important moment, which might possibly decide the rest of the game. If we actually get the Baron right now, this game will um, will be uh, will be done. If they get Baron, it's going to be a disaster. What? What's that guy even doing? Running it down for a tower? Okay. He's like inting for a turret? I'll prioritize this real quick. I somehow felt like that was going to get stolen, and unfortunately, there was so little we could have done about it. But yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I think I'm going to go for BT instead of Lord Dominic's, actually, since they are not as tanky as I expected them to be. Yeah, that Baron buff will be very annoying to play against, but I don't think it will fully change the game. It would just help us so much. It would actually make us win the rest of the game. <clears throat> How much more do I need? Okay, not that much. What if I just bait them and like, you know, force the enemy team into me? Maybe. Maybe. Where is that guy? Where will you show, my man? That was fun. I got CC'd into oblivion. Unfortunately. He just kept being inside the invisibility. I couldn't see him. Unfortunate. I knew that I, I had like I visioned myself this moment where Lux would show up from the left side. It actually happened. I still get caught by it. I was trying. I was like I literally kept my finger on Flash. I keep dying to the jungle the whole game. I just actually come to realize that now. A bit of a risky play. This is going to be a rough one. We have like two people splitting. These guys are asking to die right now. That MF is asking to die. Let's push this out. I'm almost at late team too. Hmm. 
Two people bot lane, one guy top lane. <laughs> okay. I'll walk from the left. Because I think if I get on the back of the enemy team... I might actually be able to... 1v3 them all. There you go. Yeah, okay. That went exactly according to what we should have had. Okay. I, uh, I need to heal back up real quick. I have full build now. The Soraka will spawn and I think I can catch the Soraka by myself. Maybe. Where's the Lux? What? Where's the Lux? The, the, the Lux... Where? I want a crazy ending, okay. Right. Well, either way, I hope this proves Jinx top lane, man. But yeah, either way, this is Jinx top lane. Thank you for watching today's Jinx video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.